I missed getting a photo of Chelsea, but I'm gonna get one of you. Do you wanna take your sweatshirt off or you wanna just take a photo in that? Okay. So Chelsea, I haven't really talked about this much, but about four days ago, um, we didn't even get an email from the district. We, we started seeing on our kids' profile that they weren't gonna get a bus to the middle school. And we live in hilly country. I was not about to walk up and down the hills. They got one, it was late. It got here three minutes after school started, but we're gonna get some school pictures of Ashley real quick before her bus is supposed to be here, right? Yeah. All your friends are leaving? Yeah. yeah. I sleep at, I don't like 10. Yeah. And then I woke up at like two in the morning and I didn't know where the melatonin was. Cause someone took it from our room. Yeah, we had it, we had it. Oh, then we took it back. But you guys were asleep <laughs> so I didn't know if you were asleep. You should have just come in and gotten it. Yeah. It was it, pitch black. I know. That's why it scares me to death when you come into my room. I get it. Okay, let's look at your outfit. Outfit of the day. She's what color shirt do you have on? Show us your shirt underneath because it actually matches the shorts really good. You're going to not want that sweatshirt within like minutes of being at school. See how cute that is. <laughs> and it actually will be perfect for today because it's going to be 92 degrees today. It'll be the hottest it's been for a couple weeks. A lot weeks. of people just like wear pants with the first day. I'm like, like it's too hot. It's about to be like 100. So she has a new shirt on, but an old short, but it looks really, really cute. So that's what I will see you come home in. We'll just put your sweatshirt back on. I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to come out with you every day. Well, you said you don't care. For the, I don't care either. You're going to be asleep half the time. No, I'm not. I get up with you every single time. I'm going to get up and have a better routine. But you are in fourth grade. I don't know if I'm going to come down every day. Just because you're getting older. I know. All right. Well, the days care. of mom bus stop might be over soon. Yeah. Man, the bus fiasco this morning. So not only was the bus late today, again, for Ashley's bus, but he came and did the loop. There's a little loop through our neighborhood and he did it the back way and the door was on the wrong side of the bus stop. So now the kids have to stop, wait for the bus to put the arm out, and then wave them across for them to get on. But we, anyway, it's like at a three-way bus stop, or three-way traffic stop, and these people don't stop at the three-way for the bus. So there's even higher chance of someone hitting these kids. And so I went and asked the bus driver, I was like, I get that it's day one, but like, as you've seen, every stop that you've stopped at now, you're the wrong side of the bus for these kids. All it takes for you is to do the loop the other direction. I can't do that. I have to follow my map. Yeah, you're gonna follow the map same way. Just go the other direction. Loop this way instead of looping that way. You're still going to get back the same road you come in and out of. And he was like, no, I can't do that. <laughs> He's like, I have to get permission. I said, fantastic. Why don't you go back to the transportation department and get permission? Because for the past 12 years, this has been the route. And for them to change it is absolutely ludicrous. So I'm about to sit down and email the stupid transportation department again. And it's like, why, 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 why? Can they not just do it the same as they did it last year? I didn't really get a chance to explain it. They canceled Chelsea's bus for middle school for our entire hillside. It's half of the school. I'm not even kidding you. Half of the student at the entire school canceled their bus. And I'm like, you guys are ridiculous. You want them to walk up and down super steep hills in the dark, in the rain, in the cold, cougars and bears. I'm not even joking. Cougars and bears wandering around our streets, wandering through the bushes. Ugh. And they just wanted to cancel it. Oh, they can walk. And I'm like, all these mama bears have come out and we're not having it. So a little bit of a stressful morning. I'm not used to being up and going for so long in the morning and have it only be nine o'clock and not being able to eat. So I've got to just sit and drink some water, send my messages to the transportation department, start working on my computer, my little treadmill. Got my little setup over here in case you haven't watched the past few videos. I left it out last night. I am not wanting to do a full sweat workout. I'm not even going to put on like a sports bra or, or change my shirt or anything like that. I'm just going to put on a comfier pair of shorts. I've got like jean shorts on now. I just wanted a cute outfit for the bus stop, but I'm going to change and just walk very slowly while I input footage and do type emails and that kind of stuff. And then I'm gonna go shopping. <laughs> so dumb, but I, I just wanna go to Marshalls. I wanna go to Walmart. There's a few things at Walmart that I've seen that are really cute. They have their game together with like fall fashion or any fashion better than Target does. So, but the problem is that the Walmart that is now open and closest to me is like 30 to 40 minutes away from me. So it's kind of a trek. So I kind of wanna make sure I hit as many stores in that area as I can 
there's a dollar store, there's Chick-fil-A. <laughs> there's actually a crumble, but now there's a crumble closer to me and I don't need crumble. I don't need to get crumble. Um, I'm trying to think what other stores were in that area that I could stop at um, and just make the trip useful. I might actually see if Kaylee and Abby need a few things. They like to get their tank top from Walmart because they're like 288. Treadmill, Ben shopping because I don't have kids. I, so I keep looking upstairs because I still have two kids. They have late start this morning just because it's freshman orientation this morning and so they don't actually have to go until 11 and their friend is going to pick them up. A little bit of a different thing with them but I don't have to like hold their hand and go to the bus stop with them. That's why I'm motioning them with my eyes because they're still upstairs. I want to be daring baby dance the night away I let my head down if I want don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Kaylee and Abby are after school. They let me get one photo of them. I will insert here. Baby, let your head down. Be a little wilder. Baby, kick your shoes. That's all I got of them. But I was like, Kaylee, this is the only chance I'm going to get to take senior picture on your very last day of your very last year of school. So let me do it. I just want to stand in front of the air conditioning now. It's so hot, but kind of changed back into my, my jean short and I think I'm gonna grab, a, maybe I'll make a protein drink. That would be the wise choice. Edited yesterday's video all the way, but it is processing right now. So not, not much more I can do with it. And then I think we're going to go shopping after I make a protein drink. A protein drink, I should, I probably need it. I don't want to eat, eat right now, but I should make a peanut butter protein kind of getting shaky so we'll do chocolate peanut butter protein shake Ashley did not get to do her dishes because Kim or Abby did not unload so and before Ashley left so this I, like I told them all yesterday I'm like this is not how I want it to be but whatever so If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like Alright, my first stop is the Dollar Tree And I have to say I needed that drive It's a long drive to get down here And this is a really nice Dollar Tree, if you can call Dollar Tree is nice. They just do it well down here. I don't know why it's different than ours. They just do. And I need a few things um, while I'm here and it's always nicer to come to this one because they have more things than ours does. But I needed that drive. It was so calm and so <laughs> relaxing. And I'm almost done listening to my book and I've been able to like text with my friend. Um, but it just like, I can just listen to her responses and then I voice command text back. But that was just, it was just such a nice drive and it's such beautiful weather today I needed it I needed this nice calm drive and I'm gonna do some shopping and look how tempting it is crumble can you see it you can't see it literally I'll just point to it it's right there dollar store is right there and I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna get any cookies oh, oh it is hot out here I didn't know how hot it was <laughs> just nice and cool in my air conditioning anyway that was quite the drive if, if anything I just enjoyed being in the car and having my book and my water I'm let me hang on one second really quick so not only now am I tracking my step and tracking my weight with my new scale I am tracking how much water I'm drinking you guys know that I drink I drink water I'm very good at drinking water but I'm gonna track how much I drink yesterday I drank five and it's 32 ounces so I drank 160 ounces, which is technically more. You're supposed to drink half the amount of your weight in ounces. So I'm obviously not going to tell you what my weight is, but I drank more than I needed to yesterday. Um, and I have, this is my second one and it's half gone now. So I need to go pee. <laughs> I drank that while I drove down here and uh, we're going to go in and do some damage. But it's the dollar store. Like how much damage can you actually do? All right, I'm good here at the dollar store. I like this brand. It's Bolero. I got two orange peel ones a lemon and a watermelon one. And then I got some extra stickers. 
for probably next summer just because they're cute and different than what I have and then I got these two cute ones here and then just fun hearts and then I got a toothbrush just this is just for my main floor bathroom when I don't want to go upstairs and brush my teeth with my electric toothbrush and then we got two new water bottles one for the downstairs bathroom and one for my makeup desk so that I can do my hair upstairs or downstairs in case my hair's not wet and then I found like Venus razors like actual name brand razors so they're three packs so I got three of them stock up on some and have some for use and then I I don't know if they're gonna be good so I got one as a backup <laughs> just in case but I think Venus will be a good one all of these decorations are really cute I'm just not in the mood to like decorate for the fall yet I don't know I don't know if I need any more in any way so I'm just it's easy to walk past this stuff <laughs> don't know why just don't want to decorate yet okay the call me strange I am just seeing this car wash. Now, it's an automated car wash where it like does the washing for you. Like, right? How it's like, you know, you don't have to get out of the car, right? Okay. But you're not on a track and you don't have to do that whole like neutral brake system thing like we have to do in our car. <sighs> I think I'm going to come through here. I literally have never seen a car wash like this. And I pass this car wash every time I come down here, which obviously is like maybe twice a year. But like... How did I not know that they were on a, like a, the thing goes around their car. Those little like water sprayers, like, like move themselves. So it just tells you on the little like sign, stay here, stop, and then it'll tell you when to go. And the water goes around you. <gasps> I'm coming back through here. I would just go through it now, but I want to drive the car and like kind of like dry it off and drive it rather than have it just sit and bake in the sun at Walmart. I'm coming back through here. How much is it? 10 bucks for the cheapest one. It's eight to 10 bucks just for the basic at, at Brown Bear now. So I think I'm not gonna come down here for my car washes by any means, but let's go to Walmart. Let's see what damage I can do there. Anyway, Walmart, my, my favorite place. <laughs> It's not. Also, so far I've done 5,500 steps. So I did about 4,500 on the treadmill this morning. And then I've done another thousand just wandering around the Dollar Tree. So I think Walmart, I'm gonna get in quite a few more steps. All right, I'm already here at Walmart and I'm seeing some of the, the jacket online, from online that I wanted to look at. But I do, I like this like Sherpa material. It's nice and cozy, but I want like a full zip. Cause I'm sick of wearing sweatshirt all the time if I have like a cute t-shirt on so I just want to be able to throw a jacket on and not a sweatshirt so I'm just going around that one's getting close I don't like the green but I like the longer zip so I'm just looking around I kind of like this one but what I want is like this color there's one online that's that color but I wanted to try it on if I was a sweater person I would totally get this but I don't know that I would wear it that much it's really cute though I doubt they have my size oh they do I just think it would be like really weird on me Okay, I wasn't gonna come down the food aisle, but I did. These are $1.20 each, so that's $12 worth of pasta right there. Then I got Honey Nut O's, the great value one. These are $1.20 each, you guys. And these ones are the Rice Krispies. Again, they're like $1.20. And these huge ones are Frosted Flakes, and they're $2.80 for this. I mean, it's huge. Good deal. Then I'm getting some Pop-Tarts, just again, a little extra for back to school. Abby loves these um, little pasta sides. She just likes to make her own little pasta meal. And then I got some of these ones as well. And then I got, Ashley said she would like to have these for breakfast. And I know that Abby likes these. And then I snuck in some caramel because I'm starting to get hungry and I should probably leave. I spent more than I thought I was gonna spend at Walmart. But I also got a lot more than I thought I was gonna get. And guess what? I have an hour until my kids are home. <laughs> This is ridiculous. All I've done is gone shopping. But I did work out and I did edit a video. I didn't just go shopping. I'm gonna go get a cool beverage and I think I'm gonna take my car through that car wash and then go home and have lunch. Let's see how many steps I did in uh, Walmart. I'm up to 6,600 steps, but maybe I put my phone in my purse part of that, but. All right, so this is the second McDonald's. Ours was closed yesterday at the drive-thru. This is the second one. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> I just wanted a cold beverage. What are you doing to me, McDonald's? I have to get a Wendy's one now. Gross. Well, all right. Let's see if I can not be nervous in the car wash. <laughs> all right. It says drive. I can see it right there. Drive forward, drive stop. Okay, all right. Let's see if this is worth 10 bucks. Like you can do better. So much better. Okay, 
Well, a lot less stressful, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, my girls better love me a lot because Abby texted me about five minutes ago and she was like, mom, they changed all the bus numbers and the route numbers this year, so I don't know what bus number I am <laughs> to get on. She's like, I don't even know what bus number I am and I don't remember what my bus driver looks like because they all just like line up, right, in front of the school. She's like, I have no idea what bus I'm supposed to get on. And I was driving home and so I was like, I can't stop and I don't have like, I'm not logged into the transportation system that shows their bus route. I've saved it for Chelsea and Ashley on my phone, but I didn't do it for the high schoolers. Um, one, because they didn't ride the bus this morning and two because they just usually <laughs> know anyway oh someone else texting me real quick hang on um anyway and so i was like well i can't pull over right now and uh she's having a hard time having messages go through because there isn't good wi-fi in that high school anyway so i well, then i went I, I was like well when do you need to know by i'll try and pull over and uh look up the number for you and then she's like in the next 10 minutes and i was like in the next five minutes i'm gonna be driving by your high school <laughs> it's like I'll just come and pick you up. And she was like, really? And I was like, yeah. So I'm just parked, not at the high school. I'm like, no, you have to walk to me because I'm not going to mess with parking at the high school. So I just drove through and all the buses are pulling in and looping around and oh, and getting all set, pick up the kids. So hopefully in the next five minutes or so, they'll come down and I'll take them home because I'm such a gracious mom. This is only going to happen on the first day of school. So I'm not going to sit in the car with my cold beverage. It's not the same. Sorry, Wendy's. It's not the same. And then because I went to Wendy's, I was like, oh, well, I don't ever get Wendy's. So I had Wendy's as I drove home. It's all right. I've got food for the fridge and, well, it's more for the pantry. And you guys, I didn't talk about this. Okay, now that I have time. I have never, never in my whole life walked into a Walmart. And this is just, you'll understand. I buy my bras from Walmart. It's the only place that I can find the right ones for the right size. That do the duty that I need it to do, okay? But it's a struggle to find them. So when I find one, I'm very happy. We bought them in Idaho when we were in Idaho this summer. And I was so excited. I was like, oh, I got the right size, found it. It was perfect. So I was like, well, I'll just take a chance and see if they have one. I could use an extra one. You know, they had one. And I was like, what? Stars are aligned. So I grabbed it. They're literally like $18. It's not even that big a deal. So then I'm looking for more like underwear to wear while I'm working out. I need some extras. So anyway, it's a thing. And so I found some and they had my size, which again, I was like, what's going on? I was like, well, I'm gonna chance my luck here and look for another sports bra. Again, because I'm working out more, I need another sports bra. They had my size. The exact same one that I have. I love it. It works great. It was only $7. <laughs> like what else can I look for I'm gonna I'm, I'm doing so good right now I'm gonna keep looking anyway <laughs> I was like, something is in my corner so then I think it was that like oh I had such good luck here at Walmart that I ended up putting all that cereal in the cart and looking down the grocery aisles and seeing what else I could stock up on that I ended up spending as much as I did but it is what it is I also got a pair of well, workout short to wear as well. Cause, and they were only, they weren't even $7. I think they were like four fifty. dollars <laughs> I was like, yep, thank you. Uh, summer clearance coming to the rescue. I even looked at like some Capri like leggings and stuff. And I was like, I just get hot. Even if I'm going to be working out from my house at home during the winter, I don't think I'll be wearing pants. I think I will be wearing shorts because I get hot. So I'm going to listen to my book. I finished one while I was at the dollar store has a few spicy scenes in it so you know you can just skip past it especially if you're listening to the audiobook but <laughs> it's from my creepy uh tiktok uh creepy book club on tiktok i think is what it's called and it's called the arrangement it's it's all about the end you gotta just get to the end and you're like what and then it's like what anyway it's good uh, it's good but now i'm listening to local women missing and i've got 11 days to listen to that but i think i'll finish that one pretty good so or pretty quickly so i'm gonna sit and listen to that and wait for my kids and then we'll dash on home and i'll have them help me unload the groceries and then it'll be time for chelsea to get home and then ashley to get home and i'm gonna try really hard to convince them to have dinner together we just haven't done that all summer long unless it's like pizza <laughs> and then they eat it and they scarf it down and then they're gone again so I'm gonna oh Kaylee's getting a ride with Veronica which why didn't they just offer to take Abby home okay comma why didn't you offer to take Abby home 
question mark. It's okay, comma, but I didn't need to stop for her if she had a ride home with you, question mark. Oh well, she's being a senior and she's gonna, she has job interviews at two different places. Actually, she's had a job interview at a smoothie place and um, put an application in at REI. So fingers crossed, she actually gets a job in the next couple weeks and can actually start earning money. Cause I think she could actually save enough for a car pretty quickly. She adjusted her schedule, mom taxi life. Did you shower? It was hot today, huh? You had a good day? Yeah, I'm very tired. You would only go, you're going to hang out with your friends? You would, you would normally want to just stay here and rest. You want to hang out with them? Of course. Oh, you, you rested already? Go brush your hair really quick and then uh, just come back for dinner time, okay? Okay, love you. Love you, bye. Hi, you look hot. Cause they don't have AC on the bus. Oh, let's get you something. I got some extra snacks. Let's go get something to eat and something to drink. Glad you wear shorts today. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you take your black sweatshirt with you? Cause I took the gray one, right? Yeah. Okay, you brought it back home. All right, you're gonna see a lot more hot mess from me. And I'm not gonna make this very long. I'm gonna end this video quick here. Um, hey Chelsea, I'm put your shoes on real quick. Did not get her photo this morning and I really want one. So I'm making her get redone up. Just slip your shoes on really quick, grab your backpack, and uh, let's just get a photo. As I told Kaylee this morning, I was like, this is my last chance to get your first senior photo for your last year of high school. And she's like, all right, all right. And Andy, Abby looks super cute this morning too. So, all right, we're gonna fake it like we make it. Just slip them on. Can edit them on? <laughs> I can't edit them on. No, I can't. You just don't even need to have socks on. And will you stop drawing on your legs? Oh my goodness. No, it's not me. Okay, get your stuff on. All right, I'm doing this. I actually have a lasagna in the oven cooking for another few minutes. Jason got caught up at work and uh, had a customer really late and then um, the till was off $700. <laughs> so he had to fix that. You guys, so far I have done 11,731 steps today. I'd say doing pretty good. And I probably did about 6,000 on the treadmill. 5,000 or so? 6,000 on the on the treadmill. It's on my app or on my phone. So doing pretty good, but I'm while I wait for the lasagna to come out, I'm just gonna keep walking because I'm getting good at editing. Um, and so I've done every single portion of my editing process and I'm getting better at it and faster at it. So I'm just gonna keep doing it. I would love to just sit down and relax and do it, but I'm already sweaty and gross and it's not that, that strenuous for me to do it. And so I'm just going to keep doing it. Maybe I'll have 15,000 steps by the end of the day. Can you hurry? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to sign off with you guys. It was fun to send the kids back to school. Yes, it was. It was fun for me. <laughs> I spent way too much money at the store, but I'm going to sign off with you guys. I have a kind of a nothing of a day tomorrow until the kids get home from school. I have Abby's acupuncture. Chelsea has an appointment or Ashley has an appointment. And then I promise to take her to lunch and then I have an, I think I have an activity. Oh, I have a baby shower to go to. <laughs> so I have nothing and then everything. So it's gonna be a weird day tomorrow. Stay tuned and see what kind of chaos I can get myself into. Take care, bye. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.